Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be taking a look at how to actually set up player mappable input actions using the new enhanced input system in Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. In the last video we actually took a look at how we set up the actual inputs itself. So if I go ahead and press play, you see this movement logic is based on our own logic over here using the new enhanced system and yeah don't mind the weird movement that's not the point of the video anyways so now we are actually going to let the player be able to customize what key to press in order to execute those actions so head into your input into your mapping context and for each of these keys what i want you guys to do is enable this is player mappable and if you were to just save it like that you'll get an error that's because you actually have to give it a valid name so for example, W is going to be your move forward. And yeah, I'm assuming you know how to use the enhanced input mapping system. If you don't, you can go ahead and check out my previous video, which I will link at some point or there at the top. So I'll just keep the same names here. So copy it over, paste it. And for this, I'll call this one move left. And for this one as well, I'll call it move right. So we'll just do it for these many. Uh, so move right. And jump. Obviously, you can extend the same with any number of keys. So jump. All right. So that should be good. We're done with the mapping context. Now head back into your player controller your bp underscore pc or whatever you have and if you drag off of this you should be getting an option to get all the mappings so get all player mappable action key mappings now you can iterate through this uh, but it's suggested you actually promote this to a variable and do this because this is a pure function and it's going to be called every time so pretty sure this is isn't going to do much but if there is any underlying logic your your loop is going to run very slowly basically so you can do it this way and for now i'll just print it out so as to just show you guys how this works so whoops split the struct pin split this one as well now i can go ahead and type in append i'll go ahead and print the name and i'll go ahead and print the key as well so the key I'm not sure if i can convert this to a string so name get key display name and we can convert this to a string so go ahead and compile that now if i go ahead and press play what you'd notice is nothing's coming up the reason is uh, once you actually add the mapping context it takes a little bit of time to actually set up all the mappings for you so what you have to do is you have to basically wait until the mappings are actually set so this is a little bit of a workaround logic which I found which you can use to actually do it. So you can get the length and check if there are any elements. So if uh, since we are converting this integer to a boolean so if there are any elements that is if this is not equal to zero if the length is more than zero you are going to get true. So in that case we can go ahead and perform our logic otherwise we can just wait until the next tick and we can just check once again so this is one handy node which you can use this is just a workaround though hopefully it'll get resolved soon or maybe we'll have another solution now if i were to press play you see we get jump space bar we have move forward w move backward s and all the other mappings as well so once this is set we can go ahead and create our actual widget where we can create the inputs so create a new folder called ui go to user interface widget blueprint user widget and over here we'll just call this one key select and we'll create one more and we'll call this one key select list and that should be good over here just add in a canvas panel add in a scroll box And we can go ahead and center align this. So 0.5, make this 
anchors should be right at the center 0 0 for the position you can make this something like 1500 by let's say 800 should be good for now so we can go ahead and create the widget so create key selection menu go ahead and create widget and add it to the viewport so it's going to be key select list add to viewport and whenever we have this we want to set show mouse cursor to be equal to true and we can go ahead and have some logic to remove it as well so create custom event remove create key selection menu and for this we can just store this and we can remove it from the parent so promote this to a variable and we'll call this one key selection widget blueprint selection widget blueprint so that should be good and we can check if this is valid and if the widget is valid we can go ahead and remove it from the parent so remove from parent so this is our basic logic and when we hit our uh, let's say for example f6 key I don't know F6 isn't you or we can use the I key keyboard if you type in so you should get I somewhere so if you were to actually scroll down so you will get I here so if you press the I key we can go ahead and create this so we can do a simple flip flop flip flop and we can create the key selection menu and remove the key selection menu that should be good and then we can also go ahead and hide the mouse cursor set focus to the game viewport as well and we can set the focus here I don't think it really matters in this case we'll just set the input mode to game and UI only so input mode uh, game and UI it's going to be self and for the widget to focus drag this in this isn't really the focus of the video so I'm kind of just brushing through this so now if I were to go ahead and press play if I press I on the keyboard we'll see, a, see the mouse we don't have anything on the widget that's why nothing's showing up head into your key select which will be your individual keys add in a horizontal box and you can add in a couple of things first one is going to be a simple text block and the next one is going to be a key selector you can make both of these fill and we can make this a little bit larger all right and we can expose these so that we can actually select them or we can actually change them so go ahead and set the text we can promote this to a variable and do the same thing for the input key selector as well we can expose the key so set selected key we can go ahead and split this we'll not be using shift and stuff so we'll only use the key so we'll promote this to a variable and we'll call this one key now I want you guys to select both of these and expose them on spawn something like this so when we actually create this widget we'll get an option to pass these in basically now if you were to go ahead and actually set it up so what we can do is we can go ahead and create a custom event and we can type in refresh mappings so we'll use the same type as we got over here so this one was of type enhanced action key mapping so we'll get an array of enhanced action key mapping whoops I should have typed that there so enhanced action key mapping and we need an array of that and we'll call this one mappings once again 
so this is how we can just refresh our mappings uh, in the widget that is so now what we can do is we can just loop through this split this struct pin and once we do that we'll get the same options here for the name uh, we'll make use of that when we create the widget so create widget and the widget is going to be our key select and as you can see we get the options here you can make use of the display name here and the key itself is going to be this key and we can go ahead and add the child to our scroll box so make that a variable and go ahead and add child all right so now if i actually call this so if i actually call refresh mappings so i need a reference to this so we can type in refresh mappings and we shall go ahead and uh, change this logic a little bit so rather than doing this or actually we'll just leave it at this so we can do this on a validated get so if this is valid we can go ahead and refresh the mappings otherwise when we actually create it we'll go ahead and refresh the mappings so move this over paste this in and we'll have access to our mappings anyways all right so we are getting an error here that's probably because we didn't compile this just go ahead and compile so it's giving us an error still so target must have a connection so that's our widget so grab in our key selection widget now we shouldn't have any errors now if i go ahead and press i you see we have our keys now if i were to click on this and if i were to press e for example you'd see that it changes accordingly so you can map the keys like this so what we want to do is once we actually change this uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and actually update that in our array so select your key selector so on key selected if you were to print a string you'll understand what it's actually doing so if i were to press play press i and for example if i were to press f you see it actually prints hello over there so now once we actually select the key what we can do is we can head into our play controller and we can go ahead and update these mappings so inside the player controller we can have a basic function which will actually do the task for us so custom event and call this one update mappings or rather mapping now this will be of type text there will be an input of type text and we'll call this one display name and get your uh, uh, player subsystem again input player subsystem so enhance input local player subsystem and from this what you can do is once that's done you can go ahead and add player map key and for the mapping name now we can actually get the mapping name itself if not the display name but in our case since it's the same we can make use of it no problem so there's there's no converter from it's okay we, we can convert that to a string and convert that that's not an issue isn't advisable you do it this way though but yeah anyways it works and the new key is again going to be passed in through here so this should in fact work and if i were to go ahead and look at this when we grab our event under key select instead of printing it we can go ahead and get our play controller so we don't have access to it as of now so the way we can get access to it is again by casting to it so get owning player and from here we can simply just cast to our bp player controller and we'll just convert this to a pure cast because we know it will be successful and we'll go ahead and call in update mapping go ahead and what you can do is you can go ahead and take the selected key split this get the key here 
and for the display name we can go ahead and grab this text now if I were to press play now this is going to work so if I were to press I and I just map this to the E key for example now if I were to press E I'm able to move but I can't move with W you can try it out for yourself so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys have any questions make sure you guys do leave those down in my discord server and also guys there is a link to my patreon if you guys want to support me over there make sure you guys do donate something and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time goodbye